kids, sit tight. Tonight we have a mystery story called Pete the Cat. Meow! And the Missing Cupcakes. It's by Kimberly and James Dean. Look at all these cool cupcakes. Which one is your favorite? This one. That one. This one. Kids, can you find me in one of the cupcakes? Just look around. You found me. Good job. I wish I had a bigger mouth. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. Pete the cat said, I need more helpers. Gus said, Sure, I can help eat. <laughs> that won't help. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had ten when they were done. Okay, let me count to make sure. One, two, three, five, seven, nine. Oh, Gus, you should have paid more attention in math class. Oh, no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been ten. Did that come round again? Pete said. Maybe we need to count again. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Gus, did two just melt under the sun? Uh, I don't think so. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, Look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Looks like this is a job for detectives Pete and Gus. You bet. Squirrel said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Test me. I can spell any word. Okay. Spell serendipitous. Uh. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Maybe three heads are better than one. But my head is very small. Sorry, I can't even count. Just then, they found another clue. Look at these footprints. Gotcha! But do you know who they belong to? Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. The alligator said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Shall we just eat one each now and go home? Not so soon. At this rate, there will be none left for the party. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. 
Can Turtle really climb up the ladder with his shell? Uh... Turtle said. It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Our suspect list is getting shorter and shorter. Hmm. I think I spy some action by the window. Where? Where? Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. What? That's impossible! Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. We have to solve this case. Let's look at the clues again. Wrapper, footprint, sprinkles, wrapper, sprinkles, footprints. Munch, munch. <laughs> So good. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. How can you do this to us, Toad? So you are the cupcake thief, eh? You've ruined the party, Grumpy Toad. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop. It was just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. I was really looking forward to those cupcakes. Me too. Me three. What good is a party without food? Pete said. But wait, Grumpy Toad made the mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited he did a happy dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. Guys, I promise I will make it up to you. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Wow, now we have more than 10. We're 16 to be exact. That would mean two for each of us. Yippee! I want one. Me too. Me three. Me four. Meow, me five. And the crumbs for me. Gosh, thank you for giving me a second chance. From the authors James Dean and Kimberly Dean, to all of Pete's friends everywhere, there's a Bible verse in Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 that says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now the word sin here means Grumpy Toad did something wrong, but was forgiven by Pete the Cat and his friends. Kids, I love cupcakes. Do you? See all the bruised sprinkles on my mouth? Yum, yum. Before you go, see who's getting ready to see you next week. Hi, kids. My name is Eraser. These are my friends. See you in my story next week. Bye. The end. 结束。